Y'all, the drama just got crazy. and Y'all need to sit down for this because Diddy just came out to expose Jay-Z now. And it looks like he might be trying to take Jay-Z down with him. Y'all know how Diddy has gotten himself into a whole lot of legal trouble and also is getting canceled by the industry. But as a result of this, Jay-Z has gone above and beyond to distance himself and Diddy is out for revenge. So allegedly, he came out with some heavy receipts. Y'all know how Jay-Z has been accused of cheating on Beyonce, well, um, teen times? Well, Diddy is now bringing some serious the interesting evidence about how Jay-Z allegedly unalives his mistresses to cover his tracks and avoid getting exposed. Yeah, go on ahead and get your teacups cause this brew is wild. And I'm about to spill this tea like there's no tomorrow. Um, is Diddy really trying to send Jay-Z to prison? Now y'all know how they say that misery loves company. Well, Diddy is proof that this saying is true because word on the street says that he might be trying to take down his former bestie Jay-Z. It appears that the bromance between these two men has soured and it allegedly had to do with how Jay-Z has gone over and beyond to distance himself from Diddy because of the mess that Diddy currently found himself in. Now I don't think I need to get into too much detail about Diddy and his current situation because I'm pretty sure y'all all saw my videos about how he's been sued about five times by five different people for alleged SA and that's not the sort of thing that celebs want their fans to think about them. It goes without saying that Jay-Z doesn't want to be associated with this situation because it'll make him look bad by association. Now, for those of you who don't know, Jay-Z and Diddy have been besties since the 90s. And they're so close that Jay-Z is the only person that Diddy allows to call him by his first name. There's only one person. Of oh, course. And I call him Sean, that's Jay-Z. We call each other Sean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, nobody else could call me Sean. He's and the no, only person who's Sean single, approved. There's not a single person that, that outside should be, of family that should be no outside of my mother okay just that should be calling me yeah that should be calling me Sean Diddy was also a constant face at Jay-Z's annual Rock Nation brunch but Diddy probably thought that Jay-Z would be one of the very few people who would stick beside him and probably try to pull a few strings here and there to help Diddy get through the situation but Jay-Z says psych and has left Diddy hanging ever since just left in the cold well Diddy is done sitting silently and taking hit after hit with his reputation tanking further and further, especially since he has some interesting and honestly kinda juicy tea about Jay-Z and how he's allegedly been guilty of doing something that would get him crucified on social media. Now we should've saw this coming because after Cassie fueled the first lawsuit against Diddy, Jaguar Wright made a bold claim about how Jay-Z was the true villain that everybody thought that Diddy was. She went on to claim that Jay-Z allegedly has a lot of skeletons in his closet and he's been super smart and knows how to cover his tracks and that's why he had never gotten exposed or sued like Diddy, who had been sloppy. Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh. Oh man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This pussy been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 fucking years. Now, Jack Wright also had something interesting to say about Jay-Z's relationship with Diddy, and she hinted that there might have been some funny business going on between the two of them. Camaraderie with Honeycomb and um, AKA Diddler, I mean Diddy. And, um, why do you give him the honeycombs? Why, why do you give him honeycomb? Because he smacks so sweet. That fucking side of my. <laughs> anyway. Um, so what exactly does Diddy have to say about Jay-Z and why is he now speaking up about his former bestie? Well, to start with, Diddy had some tea about Jay-Z's alleged affairs and how he has been cheating on Beyonce. But hey, Beyonce herself told us that tea in Lemonade. I mean, she made an entire album about it and secured her bag in the process. Now, Jay-Z also told on himself in his album 444 when he spoke about his affairs and how he broke Beyonce's heart. So Diddy's tea would be stale, right? Well, not exactly because Diddy Diddy is coming forward with more information about how Jay-Z has not only been cheating on Beyonce, but also how he's been allegedly trying to unalive his mistresses to cover his tracks. Now, Jay-Z has a very long string of confirmed and alleged mistresses, but the crazy story has to do with the woman named Kathy White, because she mysteriously ended up dead just when she was about to spill the tea on their affair. Jay-Z has been rumored over the years to have allegedly unalived Kathy, to hide the fact that he was
was allegedly cheating on Beyonce with her. But buckle up because the story is wild. Kathy found herself in a very tough spot as one of Jay-Z's alleged mistresses and her story took a dark turn with some seriously shady and mysterious circumstances. What adds fuel to the fire is that her passing coincided with Beyonce's pregnancy with Jay-Z. Yeah, you know, the pregnancy where their people were thinking that she was faking being pregnant with the folded belly and all that. Yeah, that's enough to raise anybody's eyebrows. But to make things even sketchier, Kathy reportedly reached out to a reporter hinting at an interview where she'd spilled tea about her affair with Jay-Z. And you can bet Jay-Z wouldn't have wanted that type of gossip out in the open. Rumors linking Kathy and Jay-Z started swirling when they were spotted together at a nightclub with one of Jay-Z's closest friends who happened to be, wait for it, none other than Diddy himself. Now, while they were all in town for the Floyd Mayweather and Juan Emmanuel Marquez boxing match. According to reports, just before the pair attended the Sin City fight, Jay purchased a 2,500 pair of Louis Vuitton shoes for Kathy to wear that evening. Insiders say that Jay requested that she bring a few friends to ride with them that evening in order for them to not appear as a couple. During their time in Vegas, Jay also took her gambling at the Bellagio Casino. That's where Jay was again reportedly adamant about her friends circling the pair during their time at the table in an attempt to cover their public appearances. According to reports, Jay-Z and Kathy were reportedly involved before he even started dating Beyonce, but he ultimately chose to commit to Beyonce because, duh. Now, do you remember Jason Lee and his recent threats to reveal some damaging information about Beyonce? Well, Diddy is now suggesting that this might be connected to Kathy's untimely passing. Why? Because Kathy and Jason Lee were tight buddies, and Jason was the first to spill the tea about the affair. But let's rewind to the affair itself. After Jason leaked the news about the affair, the tabloids and bloggers wasted no time in reaching out to Kathy, hoping she'd dish out the details. Word on the streets is that she got a tempting offer from a big name tabloid, and she even gave Jay-Z a heads up that she was ready to go public. Well, just a few days later, Beyonce dropped the bombshell that she was expecting Blue Ivy. And in what seems to be a twist of fate, photos of Jay-Z, Kathy, and Diddy were surfaced online shortly after, seemingly confirming the affair. According to Diddy, he believes that Kathy may have orchestrated the leak as payback for Jay-Z blindsiding her with the baby announcement. Jay-Z faced major backlash for cheating on Beyonce, and the tabloids were clamoring to hear Kathy's side of the story. But shockingly, she passed away less than 24 hours after the photos hit the internet. Talk about some seriously suspicious timing. But adding to the intrigue, Kathy's social media accounts disappeared after her passing as well, leading to speculation that she might have been silenced. Some fingers were pointed at Jay-Z, hinting that he could have been involved in her demise. However, there's been no concrete evidence to support these claims, leaving it all shrouded in mystery. But still, it's enough to send shivers down your spine. What's truly puzzling is the circumstances surrounding her death. The initial autopsy report stated a head injury as the cause, but a subsequent report suggested that it was an aneurysm. While aneurysms can indeed strike unexpectedly, the sudden change in cause of death raises suspicion. Going from a physical injury to an aneurysm? That's definitely suspicious. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse and mysterious, reports from the NYPD detective overseeing the case contradicted the aneurysm diagnosis. Journalist Claudia Jordan delved deeper into the investigation, unearthing shocking revelations. She wrote, according to an NYPD detective who told me Kathy's cause of death was uncertain, and later today we will have the autopsy and toxicology reports. Right now, the death is considered suspicious. She continued, a 911 call came in from an apartment on 130 West 19th Street in Manhattan. An ambulance came and took Kathy because she was sick. They took her to the Beth Israel Hospital and that's where she expired. It was too early to be speculating that an aneurysm killed her. They will be doing an autopsy later today to check out her cause of death, but someone might have given Kathy a bad drug, so they'll do a toxicology and we'll have to wait two weeks for that report. Now, the fact that the autopsy results were never made public only deepens the mystery surrounding Kathy's death. Like there's a thick veil of secrecy surrounding the whole ordeal, and Diddy allegedly believes that there's a cover-up and that Jay-Z might be behind it, allegedly. Now, remember Kathy's plan to spill tea to with a journalist before her untimely demise? Well, that journalist has now stepped forward, and her name is Liz Crokin. And let me tell y'all, these details she's prepared are chilling to the bone. It's like something out of a horror movie, and it makes you question just how deep this rabbit hole goes. In a new article she wrote about the case, she said, years later, I met sources who knew both Jay-Z, Kathy, and inside information on her death. They strongly believe Jay-Z had her murdered to silence her. One source told me Jay-Z had
had law enforcement and even coroners in his back pocket. The source also said that there are corrupt coroners in New York City who will rule homicides as natural deaths for cash. She continued, In 2020, Crazy Days and Nights reported this. The A-list host model is also an actress. Our host has always stayed quiet about the death of her friend, but has become more convinced over the years that the permanent A-list rapper had her friend killed. It just seemed too convenient that he wanted her out of the picture, and shortly after he said that, the friend ended up dead. The blind item later revealed the A-list host was Claudia Jordan, the rapper was Jay-Z, and Claudia's friend was Kathy. But Liv didn't stop there, because she also drew parallels between Jay-Z and his BFF Diddy, and how they both treated women badly. She wrote, Diddy, who hung out with Jay Z when he was with Kathy, who has also been accused of getting rid of his ex-girlfriend Kim Porter, who also died under suspicious circumstances. Kim's baby daddy Al B. Shore has suggested she was murdered. According to Radar, Jaguar Wright has also said absolutely. She believes without hesitation, Diddy had something to do with Kim's death. Now y'all, if this is true, Diddy is out for blood. And it sounds like he knows where all the bodies are when it comes to his former bestie. Y'all, Jay-Z might want to reach out to Diddy or something because it doesn't look like Diddy is feeling very friendly towards Jay-Z right now. And who knows what else he might spill about his former friend. Fans are all over this tea and the streets are talking heavy. And they believe a comment saying, just like the floodgates open for Diddy, it will open for Bubby Lips and B. This is why their marriage is so messed up. In the media, they act like they're a power couple. However, behind closed doors, it's probably a living hell for B. I feel nothing for her. That's what she fought for. These women know what they are getting into beforehand. It's crazy how they fall so in love with these wealthy men and then threaten to go public. It never ends well. And hmm, I've been saying it since it happened. It's not Jay-Z's first rodeo. Beyonce knows all about it. Well, this ain't Texas. Woo, ain't no hold 'em. Woo, so lay your comments down, 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 down. Cause I got to know what y'all think about this. It's really, really crazy. But do you believe Diddy? Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video.